Florida state law requires that automotive repair shops include specific information on their estimates and invoices. This video will show you the items in All Data Manage Online that must be completed in setup and when creating estimates and invoices to meet these regulations. We'll start with setup. All the items we need to address are under user options. The first thing we'll do is go to printing. This area allows you to add items that will print on estimates, repair orders, and invoices, which have been reviewed by the Florida Department of Agriculture and meet the regulations. Select this checkbox to add a disclaimer to estimates, explaining to the customer they have a right to a written estimate. Selecting this checkbox will add a reminder to estimates, repair orders, and invoices to save the customer's replacement parts. This selection adds a field to estimates to record the customer's intended method of payment, and this one adds a field to estimates and repair orders, which shows the proposed completion date. This area allows you to create a disclaimer which will be added to your work documents to explain shop supply and hazmat charges to your customers. These items are all required fields for shops in the state of Florida. After checking these boxes, we'll click Update to save the changes. In Company Info, you need to enter your motor vehicle business registration number here and click Update. Next, we need to add a few document footers. The estimate and invoice footers are the same and outline warranty, storage, and labor policies. This text is just an example. You can adjust warranty days and mileage, storage fees, and labor charge methods based on your own requirements. The estimate notification outlines the fees associated with tire and battery sales as well as estimate and diagnostic fees. Sample verbiage for these areas can be found on the All Data Support site. Click the link above to open that page. When you have entered the required footer and notification text, again, click Update to save them. When creating an estimate, you must include a complete by date and time. This is a simple procedure which we'll cover shortly. But while we're in the setup area, let's look at an optional item that will allow you to set some defaults that may help with this. We'll click Schedule and scroll to the bottom of the page. Here, you can set the default due in and due out times for setting the complete by date on the estimate. Now, let's go over the things that must be completed when writing an estimate or processing an invoice. To add an alternate contact number, we need to go to the Customer Information screen. Enter the information in this field. Please note that this is a one-time entry for this customer. Any subsequent estimates will include this information automatically. If you're entering new contact information, don't forget the Update button. Back on the Estimate screen, we'll enter the Due By Date and Time. These are the default times we set in the Schedule area of Setup. You can change the date and time by typing in the fields or using the calendar icon. Next, we'll enter the mileage in. Enter it in this field and click Confirm. Manage Online will automatically enter it in the mileage out field for you. If a part we are installing is not a new part, we must note that. To do this, click the part number Use this drop-down to choose the appropriate condition of the part. As always, click Update. Use this area to enter a general description of the customer's problem or request for repair work or service relating to the vehicle. For information on how to set up predefined symptoms and add them to our work document, click the link above. We'll save this as an estimate. This is the printed document. Let's look at the items we've set up. Here is the alternate contact number, and below this is the information from the symptoms and DTCs field. In the job group, we see the condition of the part is shown under the part description. This is the proposed completion date. Below the jobs are the footers and notifications. 
This is the disclaimer that was added when we selected the Your Right to a Written Estimate box. This is the area where you indicate whether or not to save the replacement parts and the customer's intended method of payment. Your motor vehicle business registration number is shown here. These are the estimate footer and notifications that we entered in the document footer area earlier, which outline tire and battery fees, method of charges for the estimate, and warranty and storage policies. As a best practice, all data recommends you convert an estimate to a repair order prior to invoicing to give you more accurate accounting and reporting. Confirming mileage out is a required step within Manage Online. You can do that here, or you can do it from the invoice confirmation pop-up that appears when you click invoice. If we test drove the vehicle and the mileage in and out are not the same, click in the field and enter the correct information. Otherwise, just click Confirm. Now, let's complete the invoicing process and look at the printed document. You can see the disclaimers that are only required on the estimate are no longer printed and the information we entered for the invoice footer is added. This video has covered the features in All Data Manage Online that will help you write estimates and invoices that follow Florida law. For complete regulations and guidelines, visit the Florida Department of Agriculture website.